Don't you know, you fool? You ain't never gonna win. Use your mentality. Wake up to reality. But each time I do, just the thought of you makes, makes me stop just before I begin. Cause, Cause I've I got, got you under my skin. <laughs> yes, I've I got need you. you. Skin. Mm. Wow! Oh, great job. You, you know what, Tom? You're making me, you're making me laugh too. Felt like I felt, you do it more when I when I'm. When felt I'm like I was singing. It was like a duo, man. It was got a little gay. No, he goes into his, oh, his husky meow voice. It fucking makes me roll on the floor. Oh man, I was getting damp. I and I don't my headphones, so if these headphones keep falling off. Man. That's what I was saying. I don't know how you did that. I like your know, head man. bopped and then the, your yeah, headphones but, yeah, bopped man. onto the mic. Producer, man, you know, we Listen, gotta get new headphones, man. Let's you gotta them tighten cool. them. But you know what the beautiful part was? It landed. You know when the when they close <laughs> yeah. up the when they close up the studio and before they turn out the last light, they put that perfect hang of the headphones on the mic. Right. That's the way yeah. it rolled. And, man. and that's why Christian said you could never do that again. I don't think you could. While I you're used, playing, I was big. I played a lot of horseshoes when I was a kid. And you know, uh, you didn't stop. Which you didn't. It didn't you throw never you. Never stop. It man. didn't True throw performer. you. True performer. I True mean, performer. talk you know, I, about I, events that have happened that will never ever happen again. 2020 is the ultimate example of things happening that no one, <laughs> no one could have expected. Like ever, what? Ever, ever. I well, could. let me tell you. Talk about a segue, right? Yes. Did you guys hear about that monolith in Utah? I, I did. I did. You did, right? So there is this sparkling, shining monolith. So for the people out there that don't know what a monolith is and have never seen 2001, A Space Odyssey, it is basically a big-ass rectangle. A phallic symbol. A phallic symbol. That's very... That's correct. A big old phallic symbol in the middle of the desert, in the middle of Utah, and it was in this little area that almost looked like a ritualistic kind of area. It was almost like a um, like an amphitheater, amphitheater, right? Amphitheater style, right? Setting. So it almost looked like somebody was doing rituals there. So it looked to right? me like I I, I want to think that maybe it was an artist. Uh, I, I it was pretty uh, inexplicable, uh, right? Because no one's come uh, to to claim uh, responsibility for it, right? Nobody has done it. And so what the weird thing is, is that once this got known, like it was a couple of, uh, I think it was park rangers, right? Park rangers or um, people that used to watch or they're in charge of watching where the herds migrate across the United States. They found this thing and they immediately had to try and get it removed because they knew for a fact that other people would be coming in to try and look at this thing. And so the day before they had it removed, there were 70 cars lined up in this park to try and get this to try and look at this thing because they, they knew where it was so i think the, the bigger thing is this thing got removed right it got removed it's okay. gone and they found another one in romania so they found another monolith in romania same thing wow stay with me here on on this uh the one in romania was very strange you know where they have the copycats right somebody went up to it and they knocked on it and it was almost like a hollowed out Coca-Cola can. And I felt like it was like a cheap copy of something. They were trying to get in on it because it was like so thin and so like fragile. So, so, but, but now removing either one of those things, right? When, if you removed the one in Utah. But it wasn't the same one, but I feel like it was almost like a copycat. You think it was a copycat? Well, because now I don't know what the weight, the first one by the look of it. Right. It looked like it was like a substantial structure, and then the and then in my mind the one in Romania, it was like they just threw this thing up like quick and like oh look right. what happened overnight. Right, right, right. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't have the details, yeah. but it just they were knocking on it. I was like that doesn't seem like a real thing. Right. It doesn't seem like a real thing. It also seems like we are. It almost seems like the elites because I think this would be an elite thing. You know, you and I can't just go up to a contractor or an artist and say, hey, I'd really love it if you put a big-ass fucking rectangle in the middle of nowhere, right? right. This, that, this is something else going on, right? So what is the ultimate 
purpose of all of this? We have one in Romania. We have one in, or one that was in Utah. It's like right? a crop circle. It's almost know? like a crop circle. But what I don't know the different. I don't know what the correlation is because you would assume that if there's one in Utah, there's one in Romania. You could probably plot the points and find other ones. But there was a third, right? Where was the third? I don't know. I didn't hear about a third. Uh, yeah, there Uranus. was. Uranus. <laughs> yes, there was one. There was a third circling Uranus. <laughs> Very no, good. No, no, for real. There was, there was a. Where third. was the third one? Do you know? If you I don't know, you don't know. It's I fine. don't know. Okay, that's but fine. I know this morning there was two other ones, and one was Romania. So do you one. think? Now I'm going to ask all of you. You all know 2001: A Space Odyssey, right? Have you all seen that movie, no. Stanley Kubrick? Yes. Okay, so I'll give you the rundown. Long time ago. Right. I'll give you a rundown real quick. So basically a monolith, the big ass fucking rectangle that we all know and love, every time mankind finds one of these things, and they're all planted throughout the earth and the solar system, every time mankind finds one of these things, it jumps in evolution. So the opening scene of 2001, A Space Odyssey, is a whole bunch of apes. They touch it, and then all of a sudden they know how to use tools. And then the whole rest of the story of 2001 is they find this monolith on the moon, and then that goes into 2010, the follow-up movie, where they find the monoliths throughout the solar system. So each time they find these monoliths, mankind jumps in evolution. So my bigger question is, do you think that somebody planted these things here as a waypoint, as a stopgap measure? Like, okay, man, somebody found this thing, so now we're on to the next step. Like, do you think this was a trigger for something else? I want to know how, how, when they removed it, what the, how it was uh, implanted. Like, how, yeah, because, that's because the is thing. it like, was it like with uh, uh, cement, you know? It looks like they just <laughs> chopped it. Good question, man. It. Was it like, <laughs> you know, was like, it made overnight? Yeah. I, don't, I heard on NPR well, about it, yeah, but I didn't hear the particulars. That's what I'm wondering is like, what was, how deep was it into the ground? How deep was it? Versus the other did one. It take, did, would it take a construction crew seven yeah. months to make? Yeah. Or well, was it, stay you know, with that. Was like, it sacred? No, don't stay with that. Stay what, with my topic. No, so my what, topic was, does, is what, this a trigger for something else? Is this an elite trigger that if we find these things, do you think they're going to push us to the next so, thing? Whether it's another COVID, whether it's a vaccine, whether it's something else. So was it sacred? that held it in place, you know, what's, what are the materials, um, how do we date where that, that comes from? Because if it's very recent, then of course all the questions come up, well, it's very recent, and... See, that's what I'm tying this into. We right. don't know how long it was there. Okay. But so, it's but it's well, irrelevant. It's got to be Google. Be Google Earth Why is it irrelevant? Because if, it's, because if it's there, right? So it doesn't matter how long it's been there. Because it, it takes, whenever humanity or somebody finds this thing, then humanity is ready for the next step. Got it. So humanity, or somebody, wouldn't find this unless they were at a certain level of vibration or evolutionary standpoint. And once they were at that point, then they find it and it triggers the next jump. Gotcha. It, unless, like he's saying, it was made out of tin cans, right? Uh, you know, is it, it was made out of. Uh, well, some people uh, surmise <laughs> that it was a movie prop. So I mean, I'm I'm confused about the whole concept of this. I wouldn't thing. be surprised about that. Right. So and and if that's the case, then it then it's uh, it's not an enigma. It's it, you know it's a prop, you know that was w very well done, and people stumbled upon it. So I'm a big proponent of the supernatural of. Um, you know the the ethereal, the ancient alien theories, and all that stuff. I love that's like one of my that's favorite your thing. Things. So one more thing that I think is probably tied up to these monoliths. Have any of you heard of the Georgia Guidestones? Yes, you have. Of course you yeah. have. But <laughs> what the who? The Georgia Guidestones. No, any of you? No, nobody. No, no, okay. No. So the Georgia Guidestones. Real quick. Nobody knows who put them there. It looks like a um, basically the Stonehenge of Georgia, right? So posts and lintels everywhere. And they have cryptic uh, messages on them, 10 messages. I'm not going to go through them all, but the main one, maintain humanity under 500 million people in perpetual balance with nature. Right. Okay. So we're going to cut out. Um, Sounds I don't like know, a my uh, six, philosophy. Six and a half billion people. We're just going to wipe out somehow. Okay. Guide reproduction. With vaccines. With, with whatever. <laughs> Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with a living new language. Rule, passion, faith, and tradition. 
Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. <laughs> I got a lot of those. Balance personal rights with social duties. Prize truth, beauty, and love. Be not a cancer on the earth. That's all really simple with 500 million people now, isn't it? How old are those structures? How long? They've been there since, I think, the 70s. Nobody knows who put I, them I, up. The 1970s? I yeah. think, oh, I was going to say the 60s. 60s or 70s? But, how, yeah. but you mentioned but, earlier when you started that, how, how hard were they to, to put them there? So that wasn't an easy task, right? No, but I, what I'm trying to, the correlation I'm trying to make 1970s here. 1970s they were put there? 60s or 70s. What I'm trying to make here is that there is this framework with the Georgia Guidestones, and then we have these monoliths that pop up. So what is the evolutionary vibration of humanity as a whole? Why are we finding this stuff? And it almost looks like 2001, a space odyssey. The Georgia Guidestones are tied to these monoliths. Right, so these people that are that want to reduce humanity to 500 million people right. are putting these monoliths everywhere. And when we find these monoliths, that means, and and they go public, that means it's a trigger for the elites to push humanity to the next step, just Got like it. 2001: A Space Odyssey. When I'm not it, familiar with that theme, so I can't I can't help. Well, you what do you that. think? As much as you've seen of 2020. As much of a mess as it is, never did you expect to live through a year like 2020. What do you think the next step could be? What do you think the next jump is going to be? I think it's going to be a smaller population. A smaller population. Absolutely. I think that's the goal. I think you're right. It has to be. I think you're right. Paul, what do you think? Uh well, if it is, then they're going to have to figure out how to exterminate. No, no, no. We don't want if it is. We want your prediction. What's your prediction? So my prediction is I don't know enough about the monoliths. Uh, I do know about the Georgia Guidestones, and they, they looked to find out who financed that. And mm -hmm. It was some guy named R.C. R.C. Right. So they thought it was the Rosicrucians that built it. Right. Okay. So they're... If we're going with the jump, what's the next jump? What is your prediction for 2021? 2021, for me, it's bleak. For me, it's bleak. All right, so you got nothing. So, Alex, what do you got? <laughs> uh, so, uh, you got nothing. The next prediction no, for you is the next song we got. Nationalism. So that's going to be that, the nationalism. All right. So that's, uh, yeah, so take us out. What song are you playing next? More Steely Dan or no? Uh, no, 1955, maybe. <laughs> Get into that kitchen, rattle those pots and pans. What? <laughs> Get into that kitchen and rattle those pots and pans. Roll me breakfast, I'm a hungry man. There you, you did it again! I said, shake, rattle and roll. Shake, rattle and roll. Shake, rattle and roll. Shake, rattle and roll. Roll the mother and go to Donald's own. I'm like a one-eyed cat peeping in a seafood store. I'm like a one-eyed cat and a peeping in a seafood store. I love you, babies. You don't love me anymore. Help me out. Help me out. I said shake, rattle and roll. I said shake, rattle and roll.